Uh, Philippe, let's start with the weekend. Now that the emotion has maybe gone slightly, how do you how do you look back on it all? Yeah, that it was a crazy game. Um, I had a lot of manager in my career and uh, and also as assistant coach. I had a few that sometimes had nightmares before a game in uh, thinking about bad scenarios. I'm luckily not a guy like that. But I think uh, even if you, if you had the worst nightmare, you will never think about 20 t 22 seconds to get a goal against like that. To be also unlucky that this ball goes in inside of the goal because it could have gone anywhere, this ball. So it's a big knock at that moment. and. And yeah, it influenced our game in the first half. Uh, we were less confident. We were not good enough in the ball and not good enough in the duels also. And, and a few other details that we talked about in halftime. We still had two chances with Conor Goldson uh, on a corner kick and, and, and a good one with, uh, with Fabio also. So it could have been 2-2 two -two and we were unlucky also with a, with a penalty because that's a deflection in the, in the split second and you get a ball against your arm, although you want to put your arm away. But with the new rules, it is a penalty. I said it after the game also. So you go in a really bad way in halftime. Um, so everybody really disappointed and then you need to make a switch in, in the heads, in all the heads. And I'm really proud about that, that that happened. Um, so we found the right words and the team reacted in the right way. And the second half, we were strong, we were dominant, we created the chances, we come back to the 2-2. Two -two. Then you get uh, a few seconds later the 2-3, out of maybe the only real chance of Celtic in the second half. And then still we fought back, we make the 3-3 three -three and we get even the last chance to make the 4-3. So it was a, a crazy game. Um, but at the end, you're happy with the results because you understand how, how difficult this comeback is in those circumstances. And even people told me after the game that it's from 1987 ago that a team in an old firm came back from 0-2 from to get a result. So it means it's not something that happens every day. So you need to take that in account, that uh, resilience and, uh, and the mentality to, to change their minds was really good. And we, we can build on that and also on the way we played in the second half. In terms of the bigger picture, you've been very consistent in not speculating or talking about the gap at the top and the title race. Are we close enough that you see a significance and a chance to go top of the table tomorrow? No, it's, it's still a, a long way to go. No, we're, we're just busy with, with taking the three points. And we've been indeed, we've been really consistent in that way. So I think from the moment I stepped in, in not a good situation until now, where the team who took the most points. And we, we need to continue like that, to work game by game and putting our focus on that, only on that. The build-up to this game has been a, a strange one because it's been postponed before. The rain is coming down again. We've spoken to Dundee this morning and it's still unconfirmed. How is this affecting your preparations? What have you made of all this? Yeah, that we need to stay outside of that, but it's difficult because you want to prepare well with your team. So we will travel again towards Zendi in a few minutes, uh, be in hotel all afternoon, all evening, tomorrow all day. And there's a doubt that we can play a game. And, and it's a weird thing because this is a top league and I don't know any top league anywhere else in Europe uh, the last 20 years that this can happen. So it's a weird thing because your preparation is, is difficult in that way, for sure that you, you don't know if the, play, uh, the, the game can go on and you don't even know what is the alternative. So as a manager, I would like to have uh, a solution today and a decision today that at least you can make plans towards that and you can prepare your team. If, you, if the game is postponed tomorrow, we lose one day that we cannot train with, uh, with the players and, and we don't know yet what the alternative will be. So what, that's what a, your, a weird situation. What would your preference be? Because again, John Nelm said this morning, there's no contingency for this week or for a neutral venue. He said next midweek would be the next plan. Would you be happy with that? 
I think that's a decision to be made uh, by the Federation. They are making the schedule. But if, it's ne if they speak about next week, then for sure it cannot be in Dundee because nobody knows what the weather will be next week.